Hi, this is Mike at Design Point Solutions. We're working in 3D via Composer, and I want to take a look at how we could go about making this little RC helicopter here take flight. So I'm going to do this as a two-part series, and in this first part, we're going to look at the best way to go ahead and create some relationships to make the blades of this helicopter turn uh, by turning uh, the, the drive, this main drive gear down here. Um, so first let's go ahead and just hide a couple of components that are in the way. And as we zoom in here, <clears throat> you can see that we've got our main drive gear. And if I go into uh, my free drag mode here and just grab and drag this, you can see that I can move that all around. Now the first thing I want to do is sort of set up a relationship so that that gear can only rotate around its axis rather than move in all directions. Um, one way that we can establish that, uh, aside from just using our typical rotate tool here, is we can actually define this a little bit by clicking on the gear and going into our properties and using some kinematic links. So we're going to take a look at these kinematic links uh, and we're also going to take a look at parent-child links in order to help us create the motion that we want to create here uh, with this helicopter. So the first thing we'll do here with that main gear highlighted is instead of the default free we're going to change this down here to pivot and we want this thing to be able to pivot about an axis and in this case our y-axis is the axis we want to pivot around. So we'll go ahead and change that. And so now if I come in here and do free drag and I'm going to turn on my kinematic free drag and when I grab this and turn now it's actually going to rotate that around its axis rather than just being able to float out in space all over the place. So that's one thing that we can do to get going in the right direction. The next thing we want to do is use some parent-child relationships so that as we drive this main gear uh, we're also driving some of these other components of the helicopter. So uh, what you may be aware of and familiar with is with 3D via Composer we don't have any mate relationships or uh, any kind of relationships that were set up in the CAD package with how the particular components uh, relate to one another and that's a nice thing for us in Composer because it allows us the flexibility and freedom to display and explode our parts however we want. However, in situations like this, we kind of want some of those relationships uh, so that when we move one part, other parts move as well. So that's where these kinematic relations and, and these parent-child relations can come in handy. So just as an example here, if we come up here to link and we'll do child to parent, if I choose this part as the child and I come down and choose the main gear as the parent, now we've set up that link and we'll use our rotate tool here and we'll go ahead and spin this gear and you can see that that's now spinning that child part as well. Now in this case that would take a long time to set up all these relationships that I want uh, because there's a whole bunch of them. So let's just undo that back to its normal position there. Um, now I still have that link set up. If I want to actually delete that link, I can always click on the part that's the child and come up and say delete child parent. So now I no longer have that. And now we can set that up with a whole bunch of components all at once. So let's just rotate this and we'll take a look at it here from the side. And now we can select a number of items all at the same time using our box selection. Now I'm actually getting a few components that I don't want to be children, uh, but we'll take care of that in a moment. So when I select a number of components, I come up here to link, and now I have the option to link the selection to the parent. So we'll choose that, and we'll choose that main gear again as our parent. And now let's say I realize I've set all these links up and I have a few items that I really don't want to have rotate when I rotate this gear. You can see when I hover over the gear that it's actually giving me uh, highlighting all those components. And what it's doing, if we come over and take a look at the assembly tab, is it's creating this kinematic item here called main drive gear with the K next to it for kinematic. 
Um, that K is actually because of that kinematic relation that we set up uh, with that pivot in the, in the first step. But you can see it's putting all these items under that uh, main gear item. That's the kinematic item. Um, and so uh, that's how it's keeping track of these parent-child relationships. Now, if I want to get rid of any of those, the one way that I can do that is simply by coming up here. I can select the item that I don't want, go back to link, and delete child parent. And now that particular one is no longer part of that uh, parent-child relationship. So I've got a few here. We'll just come in and select a few others. These are just the things that I don't want to rotate when I rotate that main gear. And we'll come up and delete those parent-child relations. Now I just have the ones that I do want. And now we'll test this out and see if I got all the right stuff here. We'll do another rotate. and that looks really nice. So just like that we're able to use these kinematic relationships and kinematic parent-child relationships uh, to start to create the functionality that we want in order to make things a lot easier. Now the next stage is, is that I'm going to uh, create an animation with these rotors spinning and now of course this is going to make all that much easier to do. So that's just a little bit about some of the kinematic relations that we have here in 3D via Composer.